Hi, my name is Bridget and I am with AridSpirit.org. I am here actually with Addie of Wolf's Daughter and we are going to talk about her wonderful energy jewelry. I have had some pieces made and they are just really incredible. And I'm going to ask her some questions so she can let us know how she works, how she makes these wonderful things. When was the first time you realized that you might have a gift for energy and jewelry? Well, I was really lucky because when I was about 13, I had an amazing, uh, she was actually a therapist, a counselor, and um, she taught me Reiki and other kind of energy healers and healing, and um, she kind of, she had these amazing rocks, and I was just like immediately caught and uh, we, I went with my mother to a rock shop when they still had one in a town that was close to where we lived. And um, I think I got our first one was a rose quartz. It was my very first mm. ever stone and uh, just loved it. Just loved that stone. I, don't, I ended up giving it away to somebody who really needed that energy. Um, and then a little bit later, I ended up uh, going to a place called Triangle Times. And uh, I, I never knew at that point that I'd end up working there. I met my husband there. We got Ooh. married there. So um, I didn't even know at that time that they would be like super, super important to me in the future. Uh, but so my first piece of jewelry with stone in it, with actual stone, um, is a, well, it's moonstone. And it's it's kind of cloudy over the years. It's, um, it's got, I wouldn't say it's like a really, really pricey one or you know really really high fancy flute one and um but that was the very first one i ever got um Just it has a little close to the camera here And I don't know, I just, I really clicked with it and I may have gotten some other pieces of jewelry after that with stones in them because I kind of got crazy with it. Um, <laughs> That's uh, very easy. To yes, do. it is. So um, a few later, a few years later, I, I think I got, um, was when I got my big labradorite. I got a big chunk of labradorite that's about that big that I've um, turned into a necklace recently too. And um, I just, I just kind of got more and more and more and moonstones and uh, rubies of a site and all sorts of really pretty places. And most of the pieces, and most of them were from Trickle Times, which, you know, I, I guess maybe I, I worked for them, but I also kind of funded them. <laughs> um, perfect, yes, right, right. right? Um, but I did, you know, I, I think during that time when I was at Trickle Times and of course with, with my counselor, uh, I really did learn about the healing uh, qualities of gems and it just they just it stuck in me it really stuck to me and um something i enjoyed doing when i was younger was making jewelry and um at one point you know i would use just like antique pieces like uh, that were falling apart um just the old kind of like the costume jewelry and um i don't know at one point i i, I don't even can't even tell you which one was my first one but i started making them out of real real gems and I got really, my husband kind of picks on me a little bit about it because <laughs> I'm like really, really picky about it. Like I don't like using fake ones. So um, the image you may be seeing at first uh, that we're showing you the, the close up of some of the stones are, these are actually some um, kind of fakish stones. Um, some are real, like they're just completely made. Um, for example, these are a purple gold stone so there's a stone called a gold stone um it looks kind of brownish and it has these little sparkles in it and that is man-made it's made with glass and little flecks of metal um this one is supposed to be turquoise um there it's really hard to find like large pieces of turquoise now um, a lot of them you find have been um, glued together or i've seen them where they put gold and they have the gold is holding them together um, but on the other hand, there's a lot of fakes. There's a lot of fakes. So both this, all three of these are supposed to be uh, turquoise and none of them are most likely real turquoise. Um, this is possibly halite. This could be halite as well. Um, halite is often a, a white stone and they will dye it. Um, so I'm really, really, and that's why it's kind of, they're on their own. Um, but I did kind of want to give you guys a little warning about that. So be kind of careful where you buy yours from. Um, make sure they're real. Um, unless you're just okay with, with not, I mean, some people are fine with that, but I don't do the dyed agate or anything like that because I'm like really, really picky. 
Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of some that aren't, uh, aren't really kosher, so to speak. So why don't you use some that, that may be like this? I feel like the energy isn't right. Um, I don't really feel much, especially like for, for example, like these man-made ones, like the gold stones. I don't really feel anything off of them. Um, they're really pretty. They're sparkly. They're, you know, oh, that's so, so pretty and such. But like, I don't feel any kind of energy from them. They don't feel like healers. Um, and the same, I feel like when they dye stuff, a lot of the times it feels like it kind of pushes the energy off. It, it makes the energy weaker or it, like it... It's almost, I don't want to say poisons, but it, it does something to the energy that just doesn't feel right. So um, I'm super picky about those. So definitely those are not, those are not my jam. Those are definitely not my jam. <laughs> now the piece that you're wearing tonight, um, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so I'll actually take it off and uh, so you guys can get a little closer look at it. So this is a kind of recent one. Um, I call it my light worker. And the main stone is labradorite. You'll hear me say labradorite a lot because that's that's my favorite. Um, labradorite is a stone of transformation. So um, my favorite too. Okay, yes, it's something we share. We can geek out about a lot. We do. <laughs> oh, we geek out a lot. Um, so I mean, this is a stone of transformation. That's it's. Um, I guess I'm kind of a glutton for punishment because like I can handle and I, I enjoy transforming and um, it helps you let go of old patterns and old ways of thinking and. Um, some negative relationships and everything you can think of that kind of are stumbling blocks. It's very good at helping us let go. Um, so I have a ton of it. <laughs> I have a lot of pieces. I have a lot of pieces. Uh, most of my necklaces uh, are actually the pendant is, is a labradorite. Um, so it has that and I have some anthus, which is the, the purple sphere. And they're, they're kind of a psychic stone, but they're very logical as well. Um, they kind of keep us, they can keep us um, in the logical world instead of letting our emotions kind of run wild. Um, I do have some, this, these larger ones are, are Morganite. Excuse me, I have some like hair stuck in it. Sorry about that. <laughs> that looks like dog hair too, which I can't be surprised because <laughs> the dogs are everywhere. Um, but anyway, the, the larger ones here are Morganite. Um, that's higher heart. You know, we're talking about, if you ever hear about the heart chakra, um, the, the lower the regular heart is, it's kind of the, the greens usually. Um, not always. Uh, but Morganite is very much a higher heart. Uh, it helps us teach, you know, learn to, to love ourselves and um, realize that there is a universal love that goes beyond human love. So um, it's really good for people who have had kind of negative relationships. Um, and I have my own history with that, with, with uh, some negative relationships. So not with my husband, we're doing great. <laughs> But um, you know, growing up, I, I had kind of a rough childhood, so I have I use Morganite, and like there's some more there, and a lot so of so you pieces. use this to, to work through those those mm -hmm. still um, scripts maybe running in the back of your head, yes, things like that. So this is a really good one for me to continue healing. I did a I did one, and it fell apart because I was done with it. Um, but it was really going in there and dragging everything up and really working through stuff. And so I guess this is kind of like, you know, taking a multivitamin, you know, just kind of make sure I stay on the right track. Um, I have some tourmaline for the negative energy and, and I do have, you know, worked with some people who have some negative energy. So, um, I do make sure I keep that clear and clean, cleanse myself with that. Um, and then I have some opal and, um, also, I mean, I just, I love this piece. It is a, it's a pretty happy piece. Um, and there's more labradorite. These little things here are labradorites. So, um, that is definitely one of my favorites now. Um, so that's, that's what I got on that. <laughs> now, how did you choose these stones? Did, did you choose the stones or did the stones choose the necklace? I feel like what I'll start not, and we'll do an example of this later because, uh, we had a little competition and, and we're gonna, I do, I'm doing a free one for somebody. Someone yes, won. yes, someone run or a, or a free bracelet. Um, and so I'll kind of show you the process as we're doing it, but really it is the stones pick the person. Um, they pick the necklace, they pick which ones they want to get along with. Some stones don't get along with each other. Um, stone stones don't get along with each other, uh, depending on the necklace. Um, so really you have to feel it and really be attuned to them and listen to them. Um, they'll let you know, they'll let you know what's needed. So the first thing I do if you're ready for me to start going, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in, in learning about how you know that the stones don't like each other. Okay, so let's, I'll throw some examples. Like before we start working, um, I'll throw some examples out. So let's see here. Actually, this is interesting because this happened earlier today. So I've just made one recently and Appetite is the, the almost vibrant, almost teal color. That's the Appetite here. And um, I have some Aquamarine and uh, Moonstone. So this is a really kind of higher uh, mind kind of bracelet. Um, I just made that today and I was because it was been calling to me for a while. Um, so I was trying to decide whether kind of stones I needed. And I, so I'm going to put some, I'm going to figure out where I put them. Here we go. So this is the appetite. Okay. And I tried to, tr this stone called uh, Blue Aventurin. So Aventurin is usually an, a uh, green stone. Often it's green. And so I was going to say, okay, well, this is blue. I'm going to go with this kind of blue thing. But then I picked it up. And if you feel it, when I feel it, this is way too grounding. If you want to, you want to try filling it? And, and. Yeah, like just. Yes. And what I feel is I feel that this, I feel that this part of my hand is going up and this part of my hand mm -hmm. is going down. Yes. So this, even though, and this kind of tells us a lot where we can't just go by colors about, you know, the chakras and everything, um, this does not work it with what I was needing. So I needed something that was energizing that was going to take me to higher levels and I put that adventure next to it and I was like, no, this is going to be grounding. Um, so that's one example of how that works. Okay, great. And um, I just I just want to show the camera just can you show them how organized you are it's just <laughs> incredible i i just um i just really she, she's got everything not everything I, i'm gonna have to get some more boxes but yes i i do i have like i i'm i'm very careful about mixing their energies and again there's some stones like for example um this is aquamarine this is Amazonite. These are some Amazonite pieces. So if you're not careful, you can mix them up very easily. Um, I also have some, I'm trying to see if I can find them. I used them earlier. These are barrel, which is specific with different kinds of, um, this is barrels can be different kinds of stones. Uh, Morganite is a type of barrel, but this is a, these are kind of blue barrels. So if you look, they can be pretty easily mixed together. Yes. So yes, I am very careful about this goes with these and this one goes over here and these goes over here. You know, they all have their own place because my luck, something would happen and I'd mix them up and I, and I don't want to have that to happen. But yes, I have quite a few, quite a few stones. Um, I want more, of course. <laughs> of everybody, course. everybody who loves yes. crystals wants more crystals. Oh, yes. And, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I keep on, I'm, I go with uh, Etsy is where I get most of my yeah. from because um, a lot of those are kind of their own little small shops and I want them to get uh, support right now. Plus, it's honestly a, usually not as expensive either. Um, and plus, they're, they're very responsive if there's an issue. Um, so I, I get most of mine from there. I got my appetites. I've got, um, I have still got some green. These are so neat. This is a green moonstone. Ooh. Yes. Um, and I thought that was just really, really cool. I'm waiting on some green amethyst to come. So, um, I'll have to show those off when I get those coming yes. in. I'm waiting for those to come in. Um, but yeah, I just... I am, I, I am a rockaholic, I guess, <laughs> or what do you want to call it? Um, so if that, that's, yes, they are, I try to keep, I try to keep them organized. This is a little rough right in here, but <laughs> I do try. Great, great. Um, yeah, can you tell us how, um, well, I guess just show us. 
Okay. Well, well we, we have, have somebody that that has one. Yes, exactly. A lovely gotta bracelet. Got to be careful which you like because yes. these don't have. I need to get more of these. So I'm very careful when I put stones with other stones. Um, for example, I almost put it with Adventurin and they don't like get along with each other. So I moved it over here with the clear quartz. And what else is in here? Oh, it's got Morganite in here. Ooh, excuse me. And they, they're okay with each other. They're gentle enough that they're all right with each other. Now, now tell me and, and those who are watching, how do you know that they, that they don't get along? We, we they don't understood example, yeah. the feeling, mm -hmm. but also are, are there, does it do things to you physically? Does it, you know, I mean, surely yeah, it doesn't just do. say, you know, I don't like that stone. <laughs> right? it's gonna, I'm not okay. I'm not cool with that one. <laughs> Um, honestly, I do sometimes get a physical reaction. Um, sometimes it's like a null feeling. Most stones I can feel something from. Um, and then when they're together, I know if they go like kind of a null and I can't feel anything, that they're not a good match. Um, it's almost like they start, when they're, they like each other, they like vibrate almost with each other. And, um, usually I get like a tingling sensation or warmth or something like that. Um, but I don't get like, I get like nothing. Or I'll get this, it's just a bad negative feeling like they're not okay with each other and that's really all I get you know it lets me know that they're not they're not going to be buddies in this project <laughs> <laughs> that's great now what's really interesting is sometimes you can have like what I might call a helper stone so mm -hmm. for example there's some stones when I when I was working on one um I was trying to put two different stones together and they just it, there was it's just a feeling of off like it's not like they don't hate each other they're not like null yeah. But there's like an off and then um i had to fill over another stone and another stone came in and that was able to kind of mix those energies together um so that happens as well so it really is just you know being very very attuned to them and and, and letting them know um you know that you're listening to them essentially um and paying attention because it does make a difference when you have a really good set of stones together in a power necklace or, or a bracelet or whatever it just it's amazing it, it's very transformative i know the one that you made for me t for healing mm -hmm. is just so powerful that um when i put it on i actually can feel the energy going up my arm and into my shoulder that that is how powerful th this combination i sorry i don't have it with me tonight <laughs> but um but that's how powerful the, these some of these pieces mm -hmm. are and i'm sure most of them are. Yes, yes. Like, I don't, I don't make wimpies. <laughs> <laughs> that, but having said that, if you are looking for a piece that, you, you know, you need to calm down, yes. you have some anxiety, some, some depression, that, that sort of thing, you can certainly yes. um, assist yes, with yes, that yes. And, and help softly um, deal with that, right? So, and actually it's interesting you brought that up because the lady I'm making the, the bracelet for today is, is new um, to, to healing and learning energy and everything. And you do not want to throw somebody in together with something really, really powerful when they first start. Um, it's better to be gentle. They need a lot of self-love um, because it's really easy if you're a healer, especially when you're new and you haven't learned those boundaries. It's very easy to give too much of yourself. Um, and then just be raggedy and worn out. So a lot of times when it's somebody new, if somebody new to those energies, is we I, I pick the gentle stones to go. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what's going to happen today. I feel I'm being drawn to more gentle stones um, when I just started kind of focusing on her energy. And so I guess we can start like how would I start with? Yeah. Um, so the first thing I do is I try to connect with somebody else's energy. Um, if I haven't met them, and I did a piece for a friend of yours, yes. and I hadn't met her. So, um, luckily, Bridget had a picture of her. Yes. Um, and I can use that as a way to connect to that energy. Um, luckily, in this case, I actually have met this lady, um, and she is a really, really amazing person. And um, it, it, was, it was really cool. I, I tried to teach her I, I tried to teach her how to make the, the energy ball. This is one of those mm. first things when you do energy healing. And she immediately picked it up. It was She's just such a natural at it. Um, so I, I'm really glad it was her who won this one because I've met her in person. I kind of know about her energy. Um, she's a very happy person. And at first I thought because of her personality that I was going to be going with a lot of yellows um, because she does like those yellow colors, those happy colors. 
Um, but I, I think really what she's focusing on, what she wants to focus on is, is learning to heal and to do healing. So I'm going to be picking in probably, I, this is the what yes. I'm getting, is that I'm going to be picking some of those more gentle stones um, that are going to be healing based. So um, because it's a bracelet and not like a full necklace, I usually do like a pendant in the middle of a full necklace, um, but it's a bracelet. So I picked a charm that's going to be going on the clasp. And this is a knot. And what's interesting is if I have my Celtic knots correctly, I believe this is a love knot. So that really, it, it's what called to me for her, for this one. Um, in the future, she may need something more about uh, the happiness. And I, I'm feeling that I'll be making her maybe a, a yellow and um, black one eventually. So mm -hmm. um, the joy and, and the getting the, the positivity, I guess you say, getting rid of those negative thoughts. So... Um, but this one, it, and that happens. Like you think you're going to start with one yes. thing and then it's like, <laughs> no, you, you need to do something else. So, um, one thing I felt definitely is rose quartz. Um, rose quartz is one of those, uh, higher hearts. And so what I do is I get a little plate like this, um, and I put some stones on it and I can, this gives me a kind of a ground to work from and it lets me know, um, if they're going to work well together and they're going to feel good together. Um, so right now there's citron and I'm not feeling it. Citron isn't, isn't talking to me. Um, Amethyst isn't yet. Um, I'm going to try pure dough and this will let me know if, if these work. So pure dough is not, is not, it's not telling me that one is good. So what are you feeling when, when it's just not? It's kind of like a, um, Almost like when two magnets that were the same type, you know, that's almost like it's trying to push you away. It does have a little bit of that feeling. I, I was feeling that yes. too, kind of that eek. Yeah, it's like, no, no, we're not cool. We're not doing this. Nope. Okay, so another one I know that works well is Aquamarine. It's really good. So let's see if they're going to work today. Okay. So what I'm feeling is they can work together, but they need something else. They're going to need some kind of other stone to be act as like a helper. So let me see. I'm going to try a little Morganite. And that's getting close. We're not done yet. But that is getting close as the good match. i got to try to keep them symbols, you know, it's kind of put off in their own corners because as you look at this color, it's very similar to that one. Yes. <laughs> and these are kind of like things. So. But, but the they are feeling good. Different. Yes. The energy is very different yes, from a rose quartz to a morganite. So <clears throat> I I feel like these are a good start. There's something else. So I'm gonna see what else I have over here in my big mamma jamma. My mamma jamma box. Woo! Let's see here. I'm not feeling the agate. Go over just a little bit toward yeah, the camera. There we to go. See. So let's see here. I'm not feeling much on the the. This is green appetite, and I'm not really feeling it. It's not really. It's repulsing it. I guess you could say it's not repulsive. It's repulsing it. Uh, let's see here. Actually, these are feeling pretty good. So these are fluorites, mm. and they actually feel like they are happy with this. There's happy. I can feel happy yeah. from those. Okay. And I may get, let's see, I may get a large, a couple large pieces of four. Let's see how they go. Okay. Let's get another one. Because another thing I do with my jewelry is they are the same on one side as they are the other. Very careful about that. Okay. So this is feeling really good so far. Um, I'm going to throw some quartz in. And these are amplifiers. Quartzes make an amplification. Um, and they shouldn't really change the energy too much. However, um, I would not recommend doing a lot of quartzes because they do amplify on somebody who's just starting. Um, they're good for focus. Um, I don't feel like I need to do points on this one. Points are like really good for if somebody's already a healer and they're starting to need because I put like a, I think a few on yours. I think yes. I did. Um, you also have some on yours over there. Yes, right? I do. Yeah. Uh, so, and this is not much of a point, but this is what I mean by a point. Um, 
it's a focuser. It helps if somebody already knows how to work with energy, it helps them focus that energy. Um, so I'm not going to give her one on this one for now. Um, I just want her to really focus on her own abilities and building that and building belief in herself. Um, because I really feel like she's going to be a very amazing lady um, when she gets into that. So I'm feeling pretty good about these right now. Um, I feel like we have... I need something a white. So I'm going to check something real quick. I'm almost out of these babies. <gasps> Let's see if that's the ones that they want. I'm not really feeling that. Mm -mm. No. I'm feeling um, some resistance in my throat chakra. Okay. Well, I'm wondering if this is going to be it. So these are opals. And I'm actually I'm feeling kind of good, but they feel incomplete. So, because I just having to talk to you about these guys. See, opals, for some reason, they're really loving these. Yeah. For some reason, the opals really, really love uh, the green moonstone. So, this is going to be... Yeah. That, that was... Mm -hmm. It's clear. Isn't, isn't that interesting how mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you're doing it, but we're, co we're connecting. Yes. And, and that's, that's great. So like I think I feel like anybody who is connects well with and we know you connect well with crystals obviously <laughs> I, I think anybody um, who connects pretty well with crystals can do this pretty easily. Um, I mean I have certain I guess rituals or whatever when I do my actual necklaces. Um, they're very uh, I I do counting I do numerology a little numerology in them because I have a certain amount so I'm sure you never even noticed that. No, but I did. Not. I do. I this count. Is wonderful yes. to know. Um, so for example, with this one, with this bracelet here, I built the end points with 11, which is a master number. And then these are four and four and four, which is about our, um, essentially kind of like our bases what we're we trying to do, make a, um, base of the house, you know, that has the four corners. So mm. it gives us a strong foundation. Um, so that's, I do, I use a lot of those things when I'm, when I'm making my jewelry because, um. It just adds a little bit more magic, I guess you could say. <laughs> they definitely magic. Yes, yes. And this, um, this, this one I just made today is just like buzzing like crazy. It's just my <laughs> fingers are just going crazy. Um, but yes, that's that is what I'm going to be working with. And at the end of the video, we'll have a, an image of it when it's completed. Yes. And then I will be sending it off to the great winner, the the lucky lady who won this. So um, I think it'll really work with her energy. Yeah. Now, is it just um, bracelets and, and earrings and um, necklaces that you make? Or could you maybe customize a little bit more if somebody had a particular area in their house that they were looking to clear or bring some type of energy into? Would you be able to do that? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, this is these are obviously for uh, purposes. I use them a lot with healing. But there's, I, I have one hanging in my car. I actually made a little little charm in my car that I set for protection of the vehicle. Um, and I've got to say, knock on wood, I have not gotten any kind of accident with it. I've never had a problem with it. Um, but I, you know, you do need to charge it every once in a while and, and make sure it's still cleansed. Um, but yeah, definitely. You could do it for pretty much anything you can imagine. You can bring, and I would recommend it because it's good to have, um, certain energies in the house. Um, I would definitely have like rose quartz any at anybody else's, you know. Um, but yeah, if you have a certain specific purpose, you'd like a charm or something in your house, I mean, that would be something that would be really easy to do. Great. So how could somebody get in touch with you specifically for this jewelry? So I have an Etsy shop and it's Wolf's Daughter, uh, I think it's Wolf's Daughter Jewelry. Um, the easiest way is to go to wolfsdaughter.com and it's wolves, not wolves. So yeah, it's W L F S. So with an apostrophe. Um, and there is a link that goes to the jewelries. Um, it it goes not you over to the Etsy. Uh, it shows you some of the pieces that I've done already. And there are some on sale that are not uh, that I've just done. Um, I have a few on sale there. Um, and of course, there is the you know if you want to get one that's specially made, you just need to go ahead and contact me, and, and we can work it out. Great. 
Well, it has been wonderful talking to you. I cannot wait to see the finished product. Should be interesting. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs>